Hi, welcome back to Forbes Games. I am Eric Kane, and today I'd like to talk about Halo Infinite, which surprise launched on Monday. Uh, the game was set to come out in December, but the multiplayer portion was released several weeks early in sort of a celebration of the 20th anniversary of the Xbox console and Halo, the franchise. Uh, so the original Xbox, the original Halo, those are 20 years old now, which is crazy to think about. Um, I am 20 years older than when I first played the Xbox. Uh, and this is a nice way to celebrate the, the, the free to play multiplayer portion of Halo Infinite, which is absolutely terrific from what I've played when I played several hours yesterday, from what I've played, this is, this is a very solid multiplayer launch. Um, it's, you know, it's available on steam on Xbox game pass for PC and on Xbox one and Xbox series X. Uh, so if you have game pass, you know, you can get it, get it that way, but you can also just play on steam. Um, there's a battle pass, optional battle pass system, so you can, you know, get cosmetics and customization stuff for your Spartan. Um, that's, I'll tell you, this one of my problems with the game so far is just that the battle pass has really slow progression. I think it's cool because the battle pass for season one and, you know, for each season doesn't just stop when the next season comes around. That the battle pass, you can keep earning tiers on it. But it's super slow, and that's going to be a problem unless they tinker with that a little bit, because it can just take forever to... <laughs> I don't know if I have this enough time in the day to play enough to level up this battle pass. Um, it's cross-play and cross-progression, so you know if you play on Xbox and you go play on your computer, you'll, you'll keep progressing. And you can play with friends on different platforms, which is really nice. Although in my experience yesterday, getting voice chat to work across platforms was pretty difficult. So thank goodness for Discord. Um, Gameplay itself, there's the big team battles, and then there's the smaller 4v4 modes like Capture the Flag, and uh, Capture the Flag is available in big team also. With the, you know, uh, so you have you know you have your smaller, more tactical 4v4 on several different maps, and then you have your large scale big team mode. And so there's lots of variety. There's lots of different maps, um, different modes, different ways to to go about playing. Uh, my one big problem with with all of this is simply how slow matchmaking is. You'll find a match and then you'll wait for a really long time for all the players to load in. Um, you're staring at menus, you're staring at loading screens. You're wasting quite a lot of time just waiting for a match to start. I'm grateful that matchmaking is working, especially at launch. A lot of these games, matchmaking is a total disaster, but it is so slow. I don't know if this is just me, but from my experience, it just, it takes so long. There was one time where I, I was about to try to restart my, my computer because I was staring at this loading screen for so long. I thought, surely it, this is a crash. This must, this, the game froze up. It froze my computer up. But no, actually it was just taking that long to actually load into a match. Once you're in the match, it's great. But the load times are kind of ridiculous. So I don't know. Um, I don't know what exactly is causing this. Maybe it's just the number of people playing. Although you'd think with more people playing, you know, matches, you could find matches easier. Um, maybe it's just a problem with the game's coding. I, I don't honestly know, but I hope something can be done to fix it because it really gets a little tedious just standing around waiting so much. Uh, so let me know if you've had similar issues on your end. Uh, let me know in the comments or you can uh, hit me up on Twitter. And... Um, yeah, let me know what you think of the game in general. I think it's, I think it's, uh, I think it's really solid, fun multiplayer with great gunplay, um, awesome looking graphics, lots of maps and modes. Um, really unfortunate timing for for EA and the and Dice and Battlefield 2042, which comes out officially on Friday. Um, this is a this is an un unwelcome competition for that game, which is having plenty of its own problems, which I may talk about in a different video. So. All right, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll uh, see you next time. Peace.